usually I fix VCRs, I don't break them. In this case, I'm going to take a fully functional VCR and we're going to break it intentionally. Wouldn't it be cool if you could play back the tape in high speed without lines? That's what we're going to try to do. We're going to intentionally misalign this machine and see if I can make it play in fast forward like a time lapse without any lines. I think I can do it by careful alignment of the, the guides because that's essentially what JVC did with their dynamic drum is they just changed the position of the head drum to scan the tape as the tape was moving past and fast forward. Can we do this manually by adjusting the guides? Maybe, maybe not. Never tried. I'm going to try now. We'll see if we can make this machine play back this tape. I picked this machine just because it locks in forward search. Most of them, when you release the button, it goes back to play. This one latches in forward search. So let's pull the top and see if I can make this thing play at high speed. I'm aware, yeah, this is, you know, this is something that normally you wouldn't do. Here's our workings. Now how am I going to do this, you might ask. Well, I could try hooking the scope up to it. Maybe we will. We'll hook up the scope and see if I can get a good waveform by adjusting both guides in fast forward. First things first, though, I got to fix my clip that I melted when I was testing that amplifier. The load resistor got kind of hot. There. That'll do it, I think. I think that'll do it. Yep, that works. Okay, let's take a look at the scope. Believe it or not, these pulses that you see that's going to be the plasma. So we're going to turn that off and turn the other set on. I'll, I'll actually look at this on the CRT because the plasma creates so much interference that it um, uh, just doesn't look good on the scope. So I'm going to hook this up to my CRT monitor and we'll do it with that one. So this is a regular playback. If I hit fast forward, you'll see that we got a, well, a picture with a bunch of lines in it and you can, you can see them here. If I tweak the guides, Let's just see whether I'm able to clear this picture up and make it play perfect in fast forward. I mean, it's not really a useful feature, but we're going to do it just because I got to see if it'll do it. Got to see if it'll work. So I'll start by adjusting the P3 guide, which is the, the exit guide. I'm turning it counterclockwise bringing it up. You can see the lines are, are getting worse. Well, now they're getting better. And now I'll go to the entrance side and we'll do the same on it. See if I can get this waveform on the scope to look relatively normal as the tape plays. So here's the shot off the monitor. I'll kill that bright light that's reflecting. I would say that, you know, other than the odd glitch there, of course the tracking servos are not operating when you're in fast forward. It's just relying now on just tweaking the tape path. I'll show you the scope. It's actually not looking too bad. Of course the rolling shutter on the camera that uh, makes it a little harder to see but uh, the waveform itself is actually relatively flat at this point it's not perfect yet but it's you know it's, it's it certainly is it's watchable even back on the plasma my picture's cutting out of my monitor I wonder if the HDMI port is starting to go bad on the camera wouldn't surprise me but even on the plasma you know I'll just go to the entrance side guide, this one on the left, and just to tweak it slightly. I'm just looking at it on the plasma screen now, right?
tell you, if someone wanted to do a special effect and get high speed playback on a VHS machine where they could, you know, show a tape playing in high speed for maybe filming off the screen, I, I, I don't think you'd be able to capture this. Well, maybe you could. But certainly if you wanted high speed high speed playback is you could certainly uh, manipulate the guides to do so now going the other direction it's going to be totally the opposite it'll be even more lines we have to go the other direction so I went counterclockwise to bring the guides up if I go clockwise and take the guides I don't know if I'm going to have enough I'm going to have enough um, uh, adjustment to do that probably not but we'll see what happens here okay, I'm going up with the guides now and oops and of course you hit the tape and you cause it to eat the tape don't slip when you're adjusting guides Part of the problem, of course, doing this is you misalign the tape over the control head. So now it's not reading the control track signal. So the servos themselves are just free running. But, geez, you know. if I play around with it a bit more I can probably get it to be a little better again this is just an experiment on an old VCR because somebody watched me do an alignment of a VCR without a scope and because I intentionally misaligned it when they were watching because they were one of these people that just skips forward and they didn't see me misalign it so that I could do the alignment without using a scope to showing the monitor. They jumped forward and saw lines in the picture and automatically assumed that the tape was in fast forward and that I aligned it in fast forward when I, in fact I was in play. I just wanted to show that yeah you can align it in fast forward to play without lines. We're back into fast forward now. See? Now we're playing in fast forward without lines. A little bit of disruption at the bottom. We'll go back to play. And now we're playing in normal speed. But of course it's going to look like crap. I need to realign it back to factory. Now even though I do have the scope plugged in, I'm not going to look at it. I'm going to, first of all, turn on the rest of the lights so that I can see what I'm doing I'll align it on the plasma and uh, get it back to where it belongs so I know both sides are out of adjustment because I've been messing around with both of them so we'll start out on this side I'm just going to look at the screen there we go And then we'll go to the uh, exit side and we'll adjust this one. Of course, the auto tracking is obviously trying to correct, but there we go. Now, I have not looked at the scope, 
I just looked at the monitor but I'll show you the scope I got it perfect I got it perfect on the scope without even looking at the scope and that's how quick I can do an alignment on a VCR that something else is not broken on here's the scope I remember we're seeing the the plasma interference probably got all the lights on here so it washes out the scope but if I turn the plasma off and get rid of that geez I'm pretty darn close to being perfect if I tweak the entry inside which is the left one that's that part it looks like there might be a bit of spot of dirt on the drum that's causing that I bet you if I look at the drum closely there's a speck of dirt on there That's it, probably right there. You see a little dark spot? Right where I can get my hand in there to show you. But there's a little dark spot right where the head is there. Right where I've got the head positioned. There's a little, looks like a little speck of dirt right in that groove. Right down here where the tape starts to make its travel. And all it takes is a little bit of debris in that groove that runs around the head drum here. You see the lower drum? This groove here is what guides the tape. And if there's any oxide or any debris in that groove, it'll cause the tape to ripple slightly at that position. And when that happens, the tape rides up slightly or gets pushed out of position slightly. And you get, um, you won't see it on the picture as a rule unless it's really, really bad but you'll see the RF will drop slightly on the scope. That was causing that little dip. Anyway, this was uh, not a repair. This was just kind of, let's play around with a VCR and uh, see what we can do. So I think that's about it. I misaligned it and I put it back and got the alignment back to close enough to factory spec for an old machine that is never going to get used. It was more of a, let's see whether we can make this thing play without noise in the picture in fast forward by changing the alignment, which is exactly what JVC did on their dynamic drum. They actually had a servo that tilted the drum ever so slightly. We've done videos on that. Those machines are all junk. Every single one of those machines needs to have that circuitry disabled and an emulator put in place. The emulator generates the pulses that are normally generated when the machine does a self-test. And uh, if it doesn't see those pulses, and when it's changing mode, if it doesn't see those pulses, it shuts down. And then the machine is useless. So the, somebody came up with an emulator, which basically is just a little Raspberry Pi Zero, that when it receives a signal to run the motor, it generates pulses and um, fools the microprocessor into thinking that the head drums moving when it's actually not so here we have a stationary drum machine we'll do the same thing by adjusting the guides which is changing the way that the, the angle that the tape goes around the head the problem is when you raise the tape up you're actually going to raise the tape up here on the control track head as well and then it's not going to read the control track and then the caps and servo is going to go out of lock if someone was wanting to make this as a permanent mod so they could play their tapes and fast forward, I don't know why they'd want to do that, but you could adjust the, the vertical height of the, the uh, control track head so that it could read the control track and then it probably would not have those momentary interruptions where the caps and servo loses lock for a bit and then goes back into the default um, unlocked mode. Anyway, um, that was it. That was just what an experiment. We've done it. We've proved that, yes, you can make a VCR play, a tape and fast forward without lines in the picture, without any special features. Just a regular basic machine, as long as it can be locked into forward search without having to hold your finger on the button, you can make it play. Now, how cool is that? Thanks for watching.